Muawiyah's plot to poison Imam Hassan alayhi salam. It was Muawiyah's ardent desire to impose his son Yazid, who had been named after his uncle, upon the Muslims by making him the succeeding Khalifa, despite the fact that Yazid was the playboy of the time, with many evil habits including gambling, heavy drinking, and indulgence in the pleasures of the flesh. But the peace agreement would not permit Muawiyah to appoint Yazid as his successor. According to the agreement, Imam Hassan would immediately become Khalifa upon Muawiyah's death. Therefore, it was obvious to Muawiyah that if Al Hassan did not outlive him, Muawiyah could do as he pleased. Thus, Muawiyah planned to kill Imam Al Hassan in order to pave the way for his son Yazid to be his successor. Muawiyah sent one of his agents to contact Imam Al Hassan's wife Jada, who was the daughter of Al Ashaf once a secret agent for Muawiyah against Imam Ali in the Battle of Safin. Ja'da was asked a small favor, that is to put a little poison in Al Hassan's food and in return, Muawiyah would give her a large sum of money and also make her wife of his son Yazid. She found the offer too attractive to ignore and foolishly agreed and accepted it. A few days later, she mixed poison and honey and gave it to the Imam. As soon as the Imam took the poisoned honey, he became seriously ill. Sensing that his death was imminent, the Imam designated his brother Al Hussein salam, to be the third Imam. One thing Al Hassan had wished was to have his burial by the side of his grandfather, Prophet Muhammad. Imam Hussein made all the arrangements to fulfill that wish, but Muawiyah's governor over Medina did not let that happen and used military force to stop it. Imam al Hassan was 47 years old when he died of poisoning. Medina was never the same without Imam al Hassan. Salam. Everyone missed him dearly, and people at first they did not believe Muawiyah poisoned Imam al Hassan but soon found out the truth. When Hussein salam, was designated as the third Imam, he was 46 years old. Imam Hussein salam, carried on with his mission of teaching Islam as before and a large number of people kept coming to see him and to learn from him. The process continued for several years when people began to hear an ugly rumor that Muawiyah wanted his son Yazid to succeed him.